welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love it if you would do that. And if you have, thank you so much and welcome back. So before I jump into today's topic, which I'm very excited about, I want to share my scent of the day, which is Jimmy Choo Stars. I was just in the mood. It's chilly here and this is so beautiful and the patchouli bomb. It's very similar to the original Jimmy Choo. I just love it. It's got a little bit of hint of toffee and like I said, a lot of patchouli, but it's very rich and delicious and not like a dirty kind of patchouli. Love it. Unfortunately, this version is discontinued, but like I said, this smells very much like the original. So what's your scent of the day? Okay, so I'm very excited. So in this video, I am going to choose fragrances for characters for my favorite TV shows of the moment. So this isn't a comprehensive list, but I thought this would be inspired by Moody Boo's recent video where she um, talked about fragrances for various heroines from different um, TVs and TV shows and movies. So this is a little bit, you know, this is similar to that, but I'm just gonna, um, some of these folks are not necessarily hero. The first one I'm gonna talk about is Breaking Bad, which is probably my favorite show of all time. It's just, um, I think it's genius. I love it. Um, I rewatched it um, probably six or nine months ago and it's just, it's so incredible. And um, the writing, the acting, I really love the show. Complicated characters. And so the first one is Skylar White. So um, that Skylar White is played by Anna Gunn. And for Skylar, I, <laughs> this is a little bit stereotypical, but I chose Lolita Lempica's Green Lover. So this is a very beautiful fragrance. And of course, you know, it's a little bit of a play. When I picture Skylar, I picture her in the storage locker with all the piles of money. So um, so Green Lover, of course, was the one that I picked. This is a really pretty, fresh, um, kind of unisex. I get a little bit of a, um, I'll put the notes up on the screen, but it's a really pretty, I think it's perfect for this time of year. Um, and I think it's, like Skylar's a strong um, woman who is not going to be pushed around. And so um, her character is definitely complicated, but I thought this would be a fun one for her and very appropriate. So it smells very, very nice. And then from also from Breaking Bad, Marie Schrader, who is, um, who is Skylar's sister, played by Betsy Brandt. And of course, I had to pick Alien for Marie. <laughs> I just have this um, travel spray of Alien. Maria is obsessed with the color purple. So of course, Alien, I had to find something that has a purple bottle, but this also fits her character because she's a very intense person. And um, this is a very intense perfume with a lot of jasmine and it's got a lot going on. And um, you don't wanna mess with Alien. You don't wanna mess with Marie Schrader either. So um, that is my um, second one. And then I'm gonna talk about Game of Thrones because I love Game of Thrones. One of my favorite characters is Arya Stark, of course, because she goes from kind of a tomboy, wanna fight, um, to a serious badass throughout the course of the eight seasons of the show. By the end of it, she's basically kind of a ninja assassin. And so for Arya, I picked from Lolita Lampica, this is called Si Minui, and it's a beautiful unisex, it's got, gorgeous notes. I'll put the notes up on the screen, but I just love this one. It's so complicated and the notes don't particularly sound complicated when you see them, but I don't know, they blend so beautifully in this. And um, this just kind of reminded me of Aria because it's so complicated and very strong and femininity, masculinity, it's just beautiful. And it just seemed like a really cool one for a cool character. So. Then another show that I love is Jessica Jones. And so she's in the Marvel universe and this is a Netflix show. So for Jessica Jones, she is played by Kristen Ritter, who was also on Breaking Bad. And I chose Oud Ambrosi from Maison Lancome because um, Jessica Jones is a very complicated person and she has superpowers um, that she doesn't always like to have. She doesn't necessarily wanna have those superpowers but she's very powerful and she's also got a drinking problem. So I don't know, Oud Ambrosi just seemed to fit her because it's she's beautiful, Kristen Ritter is gorgeous. And this is just one of the most beautiful perfumes that I own. It's got rose, honey, 
oud, cedar, and patchouli. And it just, I, I just, seems like a perfect thing for um, Jessica Jones. So that's that one. And then I picked Doctor Who. And this Doctor Who, of course, I think we're on the 12th or 13th, I can't remember. But Jodie Whittaker is the new Doctor Who. And she was also in the show Broadchurch. She's a very good actress. And for this iteration of Doctor Who, I picked, and she's the first woman to play a Doctor Who, I picked our caps on there a little funny. Gucci Guilty Absolute for Men. So um, the doctor can regenerate into different body or she can become another person or look like another person. It's the same person, but they regenerate into a different looking person. So I obviously wanted something that's marketed as unisex or um, smells unisex to me, but this is so so beautiful and um it's kind of this smoky tobacco i don't know it just really seemed to fit the doctor's vibe to me because it's dark and there's this whole brooding side of the doctor because they've been living for thousands of years regenerating into different people and i don't know it just seemed like the right one for jody whitaker's doctor who and then we are going to move to ozark which I have not finished the series. I finished um, season one. That is um, what I'm currently watching. So I really like it. I don't like it as much as Breaking Bad, but it's very good and I do recommend it. And I know it's super popular. So uh, Wendy Bird, played by Laura Linney. I picked Shalimar Souffle for Wendy. Um, this just seemed like a really nice um, choice for Wendy. She is very feminine. She is uh, kind of a um, middle-aged mom, I guess, and she is kind of a no-nonsense, um, complicated person. Um, this just seems to fit her personality for me, and it's beautiful. She's got kind of a, um, a no-nonsense look about her. She's pretty and seems to suit her from my perspective because I think she's very feminine. This is very feminine. It's not juvenile at all. It's a very sophisticated fragrance and I think this kind of fits her vibe to me. And then we have Ruth Langmore played by Julia Garner. And Ruth is a young woman who is, um, who's grown up on the wrong side of the tracks. And so she's had a pretty rough um, childhood and she's 19 when the show starts and she's getting into a lot of trouble and She's doing lots of things that you wouldn't want your daughter doing. Um, for Ruth, she's a complicated person too. You can tell that her character is going to have a, a lot of growth throughout the series because she, um, I won't give away anything, but I picked Mugler's Aura for Ruth because similar to uh, <laughs> Skylar White, I think Ruth is a little obsessed with money. Um, but this also, the smell of this just kind of reminds me of her vibe. She's beautiful. She's um, She's got curly blonde hair and she's uh a gorgeous woman and um, this is kind of minty so she's kind of a unique looking person she doesn't kind of look like your stereotypical model type or anything like that even though I think the actress is a model <laughs> in real life um, but Aura has this kind of weird greenish minty thing going on it's got a rhubarb note it's beautiful it's not for everyone it's kind of polarizing people either love it or hate it so I just thought it was really fitting for Ruth then um, I'm going to jump into Watchmen, which was a recent HBO show that I watched. It was really good. Um, and the main character is Angela Abar, played by Regina King. And she's also known as Sister Knight in her kind of superhero um, costume. So for um, Angela, I chose Tom Ford's Velvet Orchid Lumiere because um, Regina or um, Angela is a very powerful character and, and she's got a soft side too. So she is really trying to stand up for the right thing and do the right thing. And she's got a very complicated, complicated life and a complicated narrative. And it's a really great show that I highly recommend. And I think this is gorgeous. It really fits Regina King's beautiful. And um, this just kind of gave me that Angela Abar um, vibe. So this is gorgeous. It's kind of a, a flanker of Black Orchid, I think, which is 
super powerful, but I think black orchid is just, personally, I think it's too much. This is a little toned down, a little more elegant, and to me just fits her vibe. Then I'm gonna go to the lighter side of my TV habits and go to Schitt's Creek, which is just a delightful show. If you haven't checked it out, it's worth the hype. I think it's charming. It's, um, the characters are, um, are interesting. They have a great story arc. Um, it's just a charming show. And I think the acting's wonderful. The writing's funny, some brilliant acting in that show. And so Moira Rose is the matriarch of the show and she's played by Catherine O'Hara. And Moira is a very eccentric woman who, um, has an acting background and she only wears black and white. So, um, and she is just, <laughs> she's very um, iconic, let's just say. You, ha you have to see it. So for um, Moira, I chose uh, Fracas by Robert, or Fraca by Robert Pigway because for Moira, it would have to be something in a black bottle. <laughs> and of course this comes in a black bottle. It would have to be something very classy and elegant and um, this, I believe, was was actually worn by Marilyn Monroe, is what I read. So I just think that really fits her glamorous, her glamorous and somewhat eccentric vibe. I really like this. It's interesting, and it really fits with more Moira's um, Moira Rose, and it's got rose in it. I had to make sure it had rose in it. <laughs> and then the last one I'm going to talk about is Alexis Rose, who's Moira's daughter, played by Annie Murphy, and for. Alexis, I chose Angel Eau de Toilette from 2019. And Alexis has a really great um, growth throughout the show. And she's a spoiled rich girl in the beginning with, um, she's very beautiful and feminine, kind of boho chic. And I waffled a little bit between this and something from Lolita Lampica because of the whole boho chic thing. But I ended up with this because of her character's development throughout the show, because this is such a beautiful, fragrance. It's one of my favorites. And because she goes through so much character development, I thought this one, this one just has so many facets to it to me. Um, it's feminine and it's, it's charming and it's beautiful. And it just, um, I think it fits her vibe definitely by the end of the show. So those were my, um, choices for some of my, um, favorite TV shows. Um, characters. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have video ideas for me, I'm always open to so if you would list those in the comments, that would be wonderful. And also, I just wanted to mention that you can search my um, channel. If you go to my channel page and go in the search bar on my channel page, you can search for any perfume that I may have reviewed um, just by typing it in the search bar. And it will search through my channel's videos if you're interested in my past videos, because I've got quite a, uh, a selection at this point. So anyway, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't. And thank you again. I'll see you again. I hope you're doing well. Take care. Bye.